here we are trucking through the night. The nation's on lockdown. The state of Michigan is even worse. Our governor is, well, she's issued some very strict orders. And so there's nobody out here but uh, us chickens, if you will. Everyone else is locked in their home in cages because they're afraid to come out because the governor told them not to. The state has uh, willingly, the people, the people of the United States are willingly forfeiting their constitutional rights. They're just rolling over like kicked dogs and letting their governors tromp right over the top of them. And cowering in their homes like sniveling cowards. I keep thinking of the people who, who founded this country, the colonists, and what they would have done if they'd been issued an order by their governor to stay in their homes. Oh, well, I know what they would have done. Patrick Henry would have said, give me liberty or give me death. Don't lock me in my home. Somebody would have said, well, don't you care about your life? John Paul Jones would have said, I regret that I have but one life to give. Benjamin Franklin would have said, anyone who will trade liberty for false sense of security doesn't deserve either one. Those people had guts. They didn't roll over and play dead when the governor told them to. Go forward a hundred years, Civil War, not quite a hundred, four score and seven to be precise. Federal government told those people what to do. Did they roll over and play dead? They did not. Right or wrong, they stood up for what they believed was their right. They didn't lay down like dogs and whine and whimper and cry. They stood up. They had spines. Come forward another few years. World War I. Liberty was threatened. 19-year-old kids. Some of them even younger than that lied about their age so that they could go. Risk their lives because someone might lose their freedom, their liberty, their rights. Roughly 20 years later, World War II, a whole bunch more Americans fought and died to protect the rights of people, those rights that are guaranteed in our Constitution. They fought for those rights. They died for those rights. They risk their lives. Again and again, you can look at all of the different men and women who have put on our country's uniform, who have gone and risked their lives, fought and died for the rights that we have. My father, in the Korean conflict, he wasn't even fighting for his rights. He was fighting for someone else. He was over there willing to lay down his life so that the rights of somebody else could be protected. And here in the United States today, we have people saying, oh, but if we go outside our house, somebody might get sick. Don't you care about lives? Yeah, I do care about lives. I value human lives. But I value liberty over life. And when the day comes that I have to give up my freedom in order to live, I'd rather die a free man than live the rest of my life in a cage. So I'm out here on the road doing what I do. I'm essential. Look at me being essential. Do 
delivering the food that feeds America so the governor can order people to stay in their homes. Oh look, a vehicle. There's someone else out here. Oh look, it's a truck. Another truck driver. He's essential too. Here we are, doing our thing. The last of the free men. <laughs>